Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of a, uh, a pre-CAD workbench. It's called Manipulator. And uh, I'm just going to be downloading this and kind of giving a walkthrough. I haven't used it um, at all before today. So, you know, you're seeing it pretty much for the first time with me. But I think it's a, a tool that, that may be useful in your workbench. So I'm going to start out by just cloning the, um, the GitHub of it. So we're going to copy that to the clipboard. And I'll just do a, basically doing a git clone right into the your uh, your home directory's free CAD mod folder, so you can just paste that right in there. And I've already done it, so it's going to say it already exists. And then uh, once you've done that, um, we can go over to uh, free CAD, and you'll see I've opened it, and it automatically shows in the manipulator workbench. If you're if you're or in the workbench list, I'm sorry. If you've already got FreeCAD uh, open, you're probably going to have to close it and restart it. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to just create a new document and then go into the parts, part design, or part, I'm sorry, and I'm just going to add a bunch of shapes to play with. Um, and I think I may be understating this or underselling it, but I think basically the manipulator workbench is a reimagining, reimagining of some of the tools that are already available in the draft workbench. Um, but the draft workbench can be confusing. There's no doubt about that. Uh, actually, I'm going to add one more cube. So I'm going to go back into part and add a cube. And you can't see that, so that's okay. So we're going to go into um, back into manipulator. And we're going to open all three of these uh, toolbars. And one of the things you can do is you can just bring them to the side and make a new set of tabs. So I have measure, mover, and align. So I'm gonna start out by moving this cube. And if I just, I think if I just click move, I, no, I can't, I thought I could free move it. But let's try that in a line. There's one of these places you, it turns on sort of, yeah, so that's a free move. So I just want to move one of those. Free move in a free CAD, um, they tend to be, like it tend to hard to just move in 3D space. Uh, you tend to need to move along planes so let's take a let's uh, move some more of these. So just get them in different places, so so our actions are more obvious. Okay, so let me start out with uh, let's do a plane to plane move, or no, let's do yeah uh, yeah let's do a move. So I'm going to select this and this, and I think let's see what the default is: face to edge or move over to edge. Right. So let's do uh, let's do two edges and see what happens. Um, oh, so I'm sorry. So this uh, the mover tool, you're you're moving it with with these controls and you can rotate it within the same tool, and then you can pick which axis. And this is I guess on selected axis. Um, so I think if I do this, it'll just rotate along the x. So this I wouldn't I wouldn't use this much I would just use um, I would just use transform which to me is much a, a lot simpler oh but perhaps maybe maybe let's see let's see if I can rotate on a selected line instead because that would be very useful yeah I don't know what it's rotating on there it's I think it's rotating on the X. Don't know how it's selecting. It's definitely selecting different than transform. So that might be useful. I'll have to figure out how exact, what exactly it's selecting there. And then you have a few other things. Let's see, align view to the selected face. This I like, because uh, it just snaps it to whatever face to select. And I like that. That I, I imagine would be very useful. Okay, so that's, so you have, um, let's undo, okay. Um, so those are the mover tools. Then the align tools, uh, I think have a little bit more, um, a little bit more function than the mover tools. But um, just keep in mind, all of these are available in in the draft workbench. But you just you do have to understand a draft workbench before you're going to get them to work. So I've selected t two planes here, and I'm just going to do the align objects. And you see, it's uh, align them on centers. Let's undo that, and now let's try it with the two planes, and let's do center of mass and see if it does it any different. Uh, it didn't, but that doesn't mean that doesn't work. Let's do undo. Let's try the, the, these two like this. See if I can get a center of mass to, to work. Yeah, so that's useful. 
Um, it's hard to align to a sphere, or, well, it's harder to move a, a sphere in, in FreeCAD in some ways. That's useful. Uh, so that I, you know, that alone might be a reason to install the workbench. So let's try the, what's this? This is um, aligned centers. So let's pick, let's pick two, that and a face and see if it works. And so yeah, so that's good. So I was able to pick the edge of it, the ring edge and the face. Let's try a face and a line and see what happens. And <laughs> yeah, so that was that's cool. It aligned it with the center of this without, but didn't move the cube at all. So that's that's neat. Um, and again, these are probably all accomplished. You can accomplish these in, in draft workbench, but maybe this uh, this GUI gives a different uh, different um, approach that might be more understandable to some. So you know, different different things people understand in different ways. So that okay. So that uh, is aligning the aligning the planes. But it doesn't move the object; it just rotates the object to align the planes. Uh, that could be very useful. Align centers and planes. So let's let's do that. Let's take, pick this and this. So my guess is it's going to rotate one of these um, so that the planes are aligned, and then they sh the center the center of this and the center of that should be lined up. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, so it did actually did a move too. So it didn't just align them. It it. Uh, Oh, so it's the center of the object, not the center axis. Okay, so that's sort of like, I guess, that might be center of mass. Um, I don't know if this is a true center of mass or not. It looks like it is by the drawing. So that's that's neat. This is, I like this tool. Um, let's do a measure. So the measure has uh, a couple of options. Click to start measuring. First, second. Okay, so this is the same as the draft measure, but just a different presentation. So let's click start and let's uh, click on that and we'll click random places. So we have a measurement. So that's very similar to the draft measure. It might, uh, this dialogue alone makes it a little bit more user friendly. The draft measure tool is, is not necessarily, is not, I'm sorry, uh, yet, uh, necessarily user friendly. Let's try something harder to measure. Let's just pick a face. Okay, so it's centered on the object. That's good. And centered that. That's nice. I like that. So it's a little more, feels a little more user intuitive than, than the draft measure. Um, I don't know if these have the same durability. It looks, oh, it looks like it's the same object. So, so that's good. So this is, you know, I'm, I'm seeing the manipulator workbench as a reimagining of the draft measure or, or draft tools like move and measure um, and rotate. Uh, the rotate is you know, a little more obvious than the draft rotate. The draft rotate, you really have to sink your head into to understand it. Um, you have to understand what working plane you're on and all that. But however, the rotate, just the standard trans transform here is a much better tool for, for rotating at least around the object's axis. And, but this gives us the, this gives us the added advantage of rotating around multiple axes, easily multiple axes and not, um, very nice tool. Uh, kudos to the author. Let's see who he is. If, let's see if, see if I can see who he is. Uh, there he is. So kudos to Easy VW, Easy YW, whoever that is. I don't know. Good job. Wish you had your name on it. Okay. Well, if you um, if you like this video, feel free to share it and subscribe to my channel. I hope this wasn't too too non-tutorial or you know too non-informative i just wanted to kind of get this tool out there and see what people thought make sure you leave comments on if you you would if you would use this or if you already use it or if you hate it or love it or whatever or i'm using it completely wrong you know i'm i've definitely this is my first exposure to this tool so uh let me know in the comments and uh, have a great